the YouTube channel just for you. And I'm Mike, and have we got a bit of a network episode for you this month. We've got this. <laughs> Scouting in the rain. We've also got that. Making bark rubbings like this one. But first, I'm on my way to Stockport to find myself a co-host. So who is my co-host going to be this month? Hi, I'm Jack. I'm the District Scout Network Commissioner for Stockport Network. I'm also an Assistant Scout Leader for First Cheadle Heath Elk Zone in Stockport, Greater Manchester East. And this is my 60 second Scouter. If you had to explain Network Scouts in two words, what would they be? Future proof. Different. I can't think of the third one. That's the third one. Future proof. Different. Future-proof, different, and they uh, and fun. So, do you think that scouting is still relevant in today's world? Yes, it is. Uh, we, especially in the Stockport district, we are growing, and uh, scouting is now huge. What is an essential scouting tool? Uh, I'd probably say your voice. Getting your voice out there and making yourself known is probably the biggest sort of tool that we can have at scouting. Sing us part of your favourite scouting song. Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog one day. Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog one day. Mm -hmm. Went the little green frog one day. How's it go? I forgot the rest. Frog go. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in the scouting movement? So I've been in the scouting movement since Beavers, which is probably 15 years ago. Yay! What I want to know is why don't we have a dog? Oh, fab. So thank you to Malta Rover Scouts for your question posed to this chap here. So how are you? Okay. Good. Okay. So I'm in Stockport and you're going to show me your scouting skill. So. What skill are you going to teach me and the rest of the internet? So, we are going to be doing some backwards cooking today. Uh, something which hopefully, fingers crossed, you would have all done on camp at least once. If not, I'm sure you will be able to do it soon. Oh, and what is that? Uh, basically, it's cooking without utensils. Um, so you might be able to use it at any sort of survival camp that you might be, uh, that might be coming up. Okay, so what are we going to cook? Uh, we're going to be doing sausages. I know everyone loves sausages. Yay! Okay. Uh, if you're vegetarian, you can get a vegetarian alternative also. Indeed, because my last co-host was a vegetarian. Yes. What do you need? I'm assuming you need... Well, the job that I want you to do is just to sort of tear this apart. This is a cabbage. Okay. So you need a cabbage. What else do you need? Cabbage. Uh, we have some chopped onions, which um, I should do earlier. <laughs> okay. And what and, else? And some sausages. And it's hey, that simple. Is that, so that's it? It's that simple. You just need... Ca so you and a fire. To, oh, and a fire. Okay. So you just want me to what? Tear just the tear them up. Is it, is it the leaf that you need more? It's or? the leaf. So you don't actually eat the cabbage. Okay. Um, it literally is just to make sure that the sausages don't get burnt whilst on the enders of the fire. Ooh. So, if you could please just place a little bit of onion in each of the cabbages. Just right. for okay. taste and flavour. Oh, right, okay. How much are you um, tuning in? Yeah, that's that fine. Way. Just give it a little bit of a... Every single one of them has a bit of onion in them. You probably don't We don't actually need six, to be honest with you, because we're going to put about two in each, so really... We oh, right. Need... So you can put two sausages in each. You okay. Can. So I can actually... sort of overestimate a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's fine. Do we just wrap it all like a little package? Okay. Well, um, to be honest with you, usually we'd have some skewers, uh, but we don't have any skewers, so if you just so wrap you're wrapping up, them up. Yeah, like okay. a little package. Oh, right, okay, like that. Yeah, yeah. all we'll right. Place one of the embers of the fire, which we'll be doing in just a moment. Fantastic, okay, so here we are outside. So we're outside, and obviously Jack here has had a massive fire already, so these are the embers. So what do we need to do now that we've got obviously our... So obviously you've made the fire and uh, the best uh, thing to cook on is the embers because these are the hottest, it may not look very hot, it may just look like the fire's gone out but really it hasn't. So oh, so all we're going to do, you know, and you chop the sausage, all we're going to do is literally just, very carefully, don't try this at home unless you've got adult supervision, place them onto the hot embers. Really? So just place them on? Yeah, that's all you got to do, just place them on and... And then it's just a waiting game and uh, let them cook 
So, with freshly washed hands, uh, we're now going to turn the sausages uh, as you would normally on a frying pan. Um, um, how often do you have to turn them? Um, there is no, there is no written rule. Um, probably every seven minutes or so. And here we are. So let's have a look. So obviously, as you can see, the uh, leaf did it. The cabbage did its job and helped. Oh wow! Okay, the sausages stay uh, off the campfire, and they are cool. Ooh, rather well, the onions are there to add flavour. Okay. Hello. Mm-hmm. Oh, very nice. Yeah, cooked. So if you do any backwards cooking, we'd love to see it. And if you do sausages wrapped up in a cabbage leaf, then tweet us a picture. Yummy. So last month, Jags' word was... Badges. And we had a massive response. And these are the five that Jack here picked. So, the first one is Billy the Rawcliffe Bridge Badger and his uh, Badger Badge Collection. That's a tongue twister. That is indeed. Uh, this is Nathan catching up on Scoutadelic while sewing some badges on. That's kind of cool. So this is Sean sewing uh, just one side of her camp blanket. That's huge. This is Stuart earning his wood badge this year. Congratulations, Stuart. Well done, Stuart. And Suzanne with Badges, the beaver mascot of West Sussex, who collects badges uh, on his t-shirt, as you can see here. Mm. So that means that this month we need a new wear. So Jax, take it away. Program, and that's because it's a fundamental part of scouting. So Jax's word of the month is... Program. And you can send it to Mike here, either via Facebook, Twitter, email, or on the website. And we want to see it all, so what you're doing or what you plan to do. Our night in the life of actually allows groups, networks, sections to show us what they're up to. And this month, because it's network themed, we have seen... We have seen the Olympus Network, who went golfing. Ooh, here they are. Here we are, Adventure Golf. Woo! Woo! The Olympus Network. Whoop, whoop, whoop! Hey! Hey! hey. Two. Hole in two. We, we love, love the way you look. One. Go, yeah. Patrick. Go, Patrick. One up and over. Oh, it's gone all the way over. I'm Is he in? The other side. No. No, there's a oh. little hole. Come on! Come on over. It's cool. <laughs> ah, you oh. fell for that! <laughs> Here we go, tiki guys. So dark! Wave at the tiki oh, man! Wave at the tiki man! Wave! Then. You missed it again. Mm. Come around it. Go around the surfers. <laughs> Here it goes. Jack, what are you doing? Are you a nutter? Are you going mad? <laughs> <laughs> this is a game! Oh. Jack, half this you've got to walk in a straight line. <laughs> you know, Yay. when putting, it is essential to use the maximum concentration that your brain can allow. So I'll be quiet now. <laughs> no more talking for me. I know when to shut up. <laughs> you can concentrate. No distractions for me, okay? Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Now, Lucy has her own caddy here, just to uh, hold the umbrella. Here we go. We now have the umbrella and the caddy situation again. Scouting in the rain. We can all sing. We're singing in the rain. Come on, move it. Just scouting in the rain. We're raining and it's golfing. Wave! You look so lovely with your frilly umbrella. Jack's crazy shot. Mm -hmm. Not a bad <laughs> shot. Patrick shot. Oh, oh Patrick, that's yeah. not where the hole was. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> crazy shot, Jack, with his caddy, with his fluffy umbrella. No. 
Here we go. He's going to try a bit of snooker now. Snooker. No. 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 Crazy golf with the network, boys. <laughs> Except it's now stopped raining. No rain anymore, but we're like drown rats. But who's had a good Here's night? Here's the golf. Here's the golf. Woo! So Wobble Box goes around the country asking people to complete one statement. This statement this month is... My best network experience is... Here we are. My best network experience is taking part in my Explorer Belt in the Czech Republic this summer. So my best network experience is climbing and kayaking as it's a regular thing we do. My best network experience is relaunching North Manchester District's network. My best network experience is getting the chance to build a kitchen for a school in Uganda with West Sussex Scouts. In the 2015 when I was selected as an international camp counselor at the Port School of America. So I work at Canberra, and here the Black Strong Variable Area Council. And uh, it was a really good experience for me. My favourite memory of being in network is our summer camp last year in the Lake District. Uh, we got to do lots of different activities like hill walking, um, climbing, guild scrambling, kayaking and lots of other things. My best network scout experience has to be making bark rubbings like this one. I find it very therapeutic, it's good for the soul and I can spend hours doing it. And my best network experience is probably uh, keeping involved in network as I went down to Cornwall for university and getting involved locally there with the local groups and doing things like having barbecues on the beach. It's a hard life. My best rover scout experience was travelling from Western Australia to New Zealand to do my rover, my rover ramble badge hike and meeting the New Zealand rover crews along my journey as I travelled down the length of their beautiful country was unforgettable. No, I'm joking. My best network scout experience has to be undertaking my Explorer Belt Expedition Belt Challenge, um, which I did in July of this year with seven network members who I'd never met before. Just put an ad out on Facebook and uh, got these seven people who've now turned out to become some of my very good scouting friends. We undertook a 10 day expedition, um, equivalent to about six Ben Nevises, I think, ranging from low heights of about 1,800 metres right up to 4,700 metres, where we're kind of at one with the glaciers. Um, we made spiritual offerings to an Andean mountain god called Pachumama. I gave her some peanuts and uh, I think she was very grateful for that because we didn't really run into too many difficulties on the expedition. Um, we ended up in Machu Picchu which is incredible but also took in a lot of other Inca sites along the way. And ab above all, we ate guinea pig um, and that was great as well. So yeah, do your explore belt. Best network experience by far. We're in your scout hut to yeah. film, obviously Scout Cadillac this month, uh -huh. and these people behind the camera are so nosy, they'd like to know what your hut looks like. So this is through the scout hut at what group are you with? First you leave Elk's own. So here we go. So I'm here at First Cheadle Heath to find out what is inside their hut. And take a look. They have a cool newsletter board that has all different things on it, including stop. Please take your coat home. Don't forget your coats. They have a fantastic, massive hall. They also have a cool kitchen with microwave. Blue bin. A sink and an oven. As well as two boilers. They also have a cool little leaders area which has photographs. Check for water aid. Well done. Some trophies and a lot of admin -y type things. And let's have a look in their toilet. They also have a cool ladder that goes up the stairs which has an assistant scout leader. <laughs> Hello. That's 
plus tons of cool stuff. Tables. And they even have a really cool store cupboard with newspaper bits. And sweets. The scout hut is complete without some bamboo canes. More tables. Oh, Halloween decorations. Ooh. And it's got to be a fake, like sort of fire. You can have indoors. That's kind of cool. And lots of balls. Ooh. So, oh wow. Okay, so they have coat racks. So the sign that says, don't forget your coats. You've kind of left them, guys. Uh, they have two sinks, two toilets, and a mirror just to look how amazing you are. Network. How many people actually know what it does or who it relates to? So we asked network members from the UK to actually tell us what network is all about. Here they go. Network is a section of scouting for 18 to 25 year olds. It's vital in keeping young people in scouting because it gives them an option other than going into a leadership role. It gives opportunities to develop and explore their skills and try new things. Uh, network is a lot of things really. It's kind of like a social group for all of your friends to still meet up and get involved with things, uh, keep up with one another and support each other, keep on doing all the sort of the scouting things that you're used to. Network to me is the opportunity for scouters to continue their scouting experience whilst they're learning how to be leaders and share that experience with younger participants. Network has been good because it's given me the chance to go on more trips and events as a participant as opposed to a leader and gives me the chance to take part in activities suited for me and chosen by me as opposed to the scouts. Scout Network is an amazing section and I absolutely love going. It's a great place to meet like-minded new people from across the country. Try things you've never done before and even get to travel the world. The best bit for me is when we put on activities for younger sections and seeing the smiles on those young people's faces when they try something they've never done before, make new friends and learn things that will stay with them for the rest of their lives. Oggy, my mascot, has been missing for the whole of this year and he's been travelling around the world and he's now back in the UK. And last month he was in... Nottingham. And those people who got it right are rushing along the bottom of the screen as we speak. So this month we have a new purse card, which reads... Made it closer in land, this city loves its football, a museum and two stadiums. Don't get this city confused with United. Hmm, they invented the computer though, so they say. Uh, but I know it more for its media and a famous street. Didn't get on Blue Peter, but did meet an orange bear. Ooh. May travel by canal. See you soon, Oggy. Oh, well if you think you know where Oggy is this month, then go on our website, fill in the form, and you never know, you might get a postcard from Oggy himself. So it's part of the show where we play a game of Scout Tennis. I am losing. The idea is very simple. We have a category where we go backwards and forwards. Uh, we cannot repeat, we cannot say something that is wrong, and we can't spend long than, more than five seconds thinking about it, but the other person has got to count. So for example, if the category was pie, mine would be apple, yours would be... Cottage. I am so going to win this, I feel. Um, here we go. Ow! So, I'm losing. Always. Ooh, there's a fighting for heads there, sir. I've chosen two categories, and Jack has chosen two categories. This has so, to be <laughs> It looks so <laughs> So, you need to hold them. Shuffle them if you want. Yeah. I've already shuffled them. So, you don't know which ones are mine, I don't know which ones are yours, and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay, because I have lost last time for quite some time now, my choice first. I'm going with this one here. 
Things to make a camp fire and maintain to keep it safe. So things, because you've obviously done the campfire with me. Yeah. So things to make one and to make sure it's safe as well. Okay. You obviously need matches to make a campfire. A bucket of water. Good thinking there. Uh, you can have rocks or stones around the outside of a campfire just to make sure it is contained. A uh, fire bin to ensure that the fire doesn't set on fire. The grass doesn't set on fire. True. Um, what about wood? You need wood for a campfire. A risk assessment. Always important. These people, risk assessments. Oh, you can also, if you don't want to use matches, you can use the little sparking thing. Flint. That's flint still. Uh, you could have a first aid kit just in case somebody burns themselves. Ooh, okay. Um, Five, four, Don't you need three, a songbook? Two. Or what? No, it's to make a campfire, isn't it? Yeah, one. Ding, ding, ding. Game over. Okay. All right. We have some of yours. Equi equipment needed to cook on a campsite. See, because we've been doing cooking today, so very. Not festive, but very uh, in theme. In theme. So, I'll start. Equipment used. Pans. Matches. Forks. Knives. Spoons. Plates. Um, uh, water heaters. Um, Five. Gas. Um, tongs. Ladle vines. Fish slice. Fish slice? What type of posh? Hmm. Okay. Five, um, four. Pots. Three. Um, a sieve. Sieve, okay. Um, a cooker itself. Don't get cookers on camps. Campsites? Oh, okay. You take equipment um, to cook. Right. Five, uh, four, three, uh, two, uh, one. <laughs> I can't think. So I need to choose this one, so. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's one of yours. Mm -hmm. And it is. Things you see at an airport. Okay, all right, so things you see at an airport. Because obviously you guys go traveling mm. to airports. Mm -hmm. International travel. Mm -hmm. So things you see at an airport. Yeah. Taxis. Airbus. Planes. Airbus is a plane. Boeing. Oh, we, oh we're doing types of uh, airplane. Um, Five. Escalators. Security. Shops. Check-in stuff. Check-in. Beer. Um, Five. Four. What's it called? Three. Um, luggage. Five. Four. Air traffic controllers. Three. Five. People with paddles that go. Four. Three. Like that. Two. They are. No, nope, game over. Oh, I thought you meant the people ping with the paddles. Pong paddles. <laughs> the whole paddle thing is. Five, um, four, three, two, one. Thank you. So, I won it. Hey, <laughs> one second, I have to do this. Yes! <laughs> so, my last co host is next month. Will I either level peg or will the co-hosts win for the entire year? Find out <sighs> next month. <laughs>So that's the end of our show. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and be creative. Be part of our next show. And you too could be here as the next co-host. Exactly. And by participating you can get yourself either a 1, a 6 or... A 12 participation badge. A 12 show participation badge. 12 show participation badge. badge. Don't do that again.
Yeah. And by participating, you can get yourself either a one, a six, or a twelve show participation And by participating, you can get yourself either a one, a six, or, or a twelve show participation badge. Should I say that right? Participation. Participation. Alright, go on. So by participating, you can get yourself either a 1, a 6, or a 12 show participation badge. Exactly. But above all, be a little scoutadelic. Goodbye. So we've got to...